Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of June 26th to July 2nd, 2023. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Cancer, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right. Let's take a look at your energy first. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of Cancer in regards to love for this week. All right. What is the energy of Cancer in regards to love and in regards to whoever they're connecting to and dealing with in love for this week? Cancer. All right, here we go. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Queen of Swords. Ace of Swords to the Knight of Pentacles. King of Swords. Three of Cups. Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, Six of Swords, Three of Wands. Looks like you and someone are going to have a conversation here. Look at that. We have the King of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Swords here. So it looks like some sort of important conversation, important communication is going to be hap happening between you and someone who is your divine counterpart. We do have the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups, which does talk about um, reuniting. Two people reuniting with each other. This feels like your energy. Yeah, it does feel like someone is um, approaching you, Cancer, with the Queen of Wands and the Six of Swords. Someone is approaching you and contacting you because they want to have a talk with you. Feels like they want to clear the air with you. I'm going to clarify that. And it does look like they want to reunite with you. We do have the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So it does look like this person has been planning um, this move that they're making towards you, they've been planning it for a while. They've been waiting for the right time. They've been waiting for the right time to, to message you, to contact you. And with the Seven of Pentacles, this is someone who wants to grow with you. This is someone who wants to build with you. All right, let's clarify and see what's going on here. Um, hmm. Let's take a look at this Ace of Swords. Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Swords here. Clarify the Ace of Swords connected to Cancer. Justice. So someone definitely wants to like um, clear the air. Like I said, they want to clear the air. They want to clear the air and they want to cl create balance and stability with you. 
if there was some sort of conflict, this person wants to make things right with you and, and restore the balance between you two. Hmm. Someone wants to talk about the relationship between you two. What about it, Spirit? Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Tell me more. Ace of Swords and a Justice card. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. This looks like someone who wants to pursue you. They want to pursue you. They want to pursue a relationship with you. They're very passionate about you. Hmm. Okay. Tell me about the Queen of Swords spirit. Clarify the Queen of Swords connected to Cancer. Oh, okay. We do have the Five of Wands connected to you, so um, you have certain reservations here. And you have certain reservations here in regards to what this person wants to achieve with you. You feel a little bit conflicted. You're not confident in, in making a decision or in accepting what this person is proposing. Tell me about the King of Swords. Ooh, what's this? Queen of Swords, Temperance, and the, and the Death card. Oh, I see. So someone wants to heal the situation with you. It looks like there was some sort of ending or separation between you and someone. And this person wants to heal the relationship with you with a temperance card, but you're not sure if you're on board here with the Queen of Swords. You definitely have your guard up. You're definitely carrying a little bit of uh, trust issues here when it comes to this person. Okay. Um, put you here. Tell me about the um, King of Swords spirit. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person just wants to like be on good terms with you. Um, they're very emotional about you. I feel like this is someone who does have deep feelings for you. Oh, I see. It's not quite reciprocated, I feel. Yeah. Hmm. It's like they want to make things right with you, but you just you're not okay with it. You're not okay with it with the five of wands. There's a lot that's that this person has done, or that there's a lot that this person has shown you about them that you don't like, and you don't feel like this relationship would necessarily work out due to those differences and those challenges that you're aware of exists between you two. Okay. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles spirit. Six of Pentacles, yeah. This is someone who wants to build a relationship with you and um, a commitment also. Tell me about the uh, Queen of Wands to the Six of Swords connected to Cancer spirit. Page of Pentacles. Again, this is someone's, someone is approaching you with, with an offer. What type of offer or, or is this an apology? 
Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Specify the Page of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. It feels like an apology for sure. Oh, okay. I see. This person feels like they upset you. They feel like they upset you and they want to apologize for that. They want to prove themselves to you. They want to prove to you that they have good intentions and that they want something serious with you. Okay. Let's see how you feel. Spirit angels and guys, how does Cancer feel about this person? What are Cancer's feelings for this person, please? Yeah, the Four of Cups. So you're not sold. You're not sold with this person. You feel unsatisfied? Tell me more, Spirit. Um, how does Cancer feel about this person for this week? Seven of Swords. Okay, on top of that, you don't really trust them. You don't trust their motives. You don't trust their, um, their words. You feel like this is someone not to be trusted. Anything else in regards to Cancer's feelings? Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Temperance. Yeah, I feel like you're avoiding getting involved with this person, with the Ten of Pentacles. Let's see, what does Cancer want with this person, Spirit? What does the Cancer want and desire with this person? The fool. Okay, so you just want to release this. You want to let it go. You want to release it. You want to be free and detached. You're not interested, in other words. Okay. Well, now that we got that out of the way, well, how is this person going to react? How is Cancer going to react? I'm sorry, how is this person going to react to Cancer? Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, the Lovers. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, the Magician, Nine of Pentacles. They're gonna try harder. They're gonna try harder to, to win you over and to convince you, to give them a chance. This is someone who wants commitment with you, but I see you still rejecting them with the Seven of Wands. Yeah. Seven of Wands to the Five of Pentacles. I see you rejecting them nonetheless, no matter, you know, what they do, no matter how, how much they try. You're kicking them out with the Five of Pentacles. You're kicking, kicking them out. You're leaving them out in the cold because you're just not interested. Okay. So I'm going to actually um, do another spread for the person that you're interested in because it looks like you're not interested here in this person. All right. Here we go.
spirit angels and guys please show me the person that cancer is interested in in regards to love what is this person's energy towards cancer this week Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person that Cancer is interested in in regards to love for this week. What is this person's energy towards Cancer for this week? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, here we go. High Priestess could be a Pisces for some of you. The Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Okay, here we go. Here are fonts. Wheel of Fortune, Five of Swords, Four of Swords, Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Fool at the bottom. Five of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups. This is someone who you walked away from. Jeez, look at that. Seven of Swords, Two of Swords, Seven of Swords. This is someone who you walked away from. This is someone who you pushed away, you blocked. You disconnected from them. You walked away from them. With the Seven of, with the seven of Swords, this person was deceptive or that's how you felt about them. So you decided to cut them out. And move on. Three of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Except that you're showing up as the Queen of Wands. And you're looking at the Eight of Cups. You're showing up as the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Cups. And here you are with the Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So... You still have feelings for this person. You just you just didn't like the way they were treating you. And that's why you cut them out. Cut them, yeah, cut them out of your life. But you're you still feel a lot of passion and desire for this person with the Queen of Wands. And it does look like you're does look like you're waiting to see what this person is going to do. Hmm. So for some of you, you walked away from this person because you got fed up with the way they were treating you. But also, you walked away to kind of test this person to see if they, if they would really prove to you that they care about you and that they're serious about you. To see if they would show you how much, how much you really mean to them. You know, so I do feel like it was kind of like a test to you. Because you feel like you were good to this person with the Queen of Pentacles. You feel like you were very good, very good to this person. And you feel like this person repaid you with lies or deceit. And you being the Queen of Wands as well, you're someone who knows your worth and you're not going to tolerate um, people undervaluing you. So I feel like you walked away to stand up for yourself and also to test this person and see their true colors. Okay. All right. So you you definitely were dealing with someone who played a lot of head games and mind games. We do have the Five of Swords here. Hmm. I'm going to clarify that one. Yeah. Spirit, tell me about the... Um... Yeah, you were dealing with a player also. 
Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords, someone who is playing with your emotions. You are taking this person seriously because it does look like this is what you wanted with them, a commitment, but they weren't reciprocating that. And it does look like there was some sort of repetitive cycle between you and this person. Currently, it does look like there's silence with the High Priestess. There's a separation here with the Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords. And it does look like someone is grieving here, the Five of Cups. But let's see. Tell me about the Five of Swords in, in this person's energy towards Cancer. Why the Five of Swords in their energy? We have the Three of Cups. And we also have the Four of Cups. Some of you might have been dealing with someone that, you know, had a third party situation or they were keeping their options open. They weren't making a firm, uh, they weren't making a final decision in regards to, you know, what they wanted with you, with the Four of Cups. They were keeping things very stuck between you two. And I feel like they were keeping you in the dark about their true feelings. Because I feel like this is someone who um, wasn't ready to settle down. They were keeping their options open or wanting to continue playing the field. While at the same time trying to like connect with you and be in a relationship with you. So this is someone who had like divided loyalties. They were very in and out with the Knight of Wands, back and forth, in and out. What's this Five of Cups spirit? Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and the Justice card. It feels like your energy cancer. It feels like you're hoping that this person will see the light, you know? That's honestly what it feels like. It feels like you're hoping that this person will have some sort of um, epiphany or wake-up call. I feel like you're waiting for this person to, to step up to the plate and be the person that you want them to be which is someone responsible, mature, committed. Let me pull their energy again. Spirit angels and guys, show me the energy of this person that Cancer is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. What is this person's energy towards Cancer this week? What energy are they going to bring towards Cancer this week? Chariot, Seven of Swords, and the Page of Wands. Two of Cups, Two of Wands, King of Swords, Devil. Ace of Cups, Six of Wands, Hangman. It feels like they are going to, um, I just don't know if they're doing anything. I feel like if they do something, it's very weak. It feels very, very weak and superficial. Let me clarify. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Temperance. Nine of Swords, wow. Oh, brother. What a mess. Tell me about the King of Swords. I don't know about this, Cancer. I just feel like um, you're trying to hold on to the, to the faith here, to your faith. You see? Temperance and the Nine of Swords. 
This is you kind of stressing out a little bit about this situation, about this person, this connection. And with the hang, um, sorry, the temperance card, I feel like you're trying really hard to kind of um, believe in the best, trust, hope. You're trying really hard to keep your faith. You know? I don't know, because we have the devil here um, connected to this person. So I don't know if you're kind of like um, deceiving yourself, maybe lying to yourself. What is this King of Swords spirit and this person's energy towards Cancer? Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Chariot. Four of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Queen of Cups. All right, let's take a look at the Devil. The Fool, I see. Give me a second. I'm just looking at the full picture here. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Here of Wands, Six of Wands. King of Wands. Mm. I don't see anything happening this week. No. It feels like the energy continues to be stagnant. The energy continues to be stuck. You continue to be in the dark about this person. For some reason, I feel like this person knows that you still have feelings for them and that you still carry a certain level of attachment to them. And it almost feels like someone who is planning on coming towards you, but they're taking their time. It feels intentional and it feels like it feels like they're on perp they're on purpose trying to make you stressed. They're trying to stress you out on purpose. Cause it's almost like they they know that you're waiting to receive communication from them or that you're waiting to get to receive some sort some sort of action from them. You're waiting for them to take action. And I feel like they're being a little bit emotionally manipulative here with you. It's like they're trying to control you. And the way they're trying to control you is by keeping their distance from you for as long as possible. If that makes sense. You know? That's their strategy. That's their way of controlling you. They feel like the more they stay away from you, the more you're going to want them. And that's what this person wants. They want you to like want them as much as possible so that they can control you. Yeah. So I definitely see them thinking in their head, you know, making plans in their head about um, contacting you and reaching out to you and attempting a new beginning with you with the Ace of Cups. They do plan to attempt a new beginning with you, but they're just kind of dragging it out because they feel like it, it, it will give them an advantage. This is definitely someone who's very insecure, someone who has a lot of insecure um, self-esteem issues and self-confidence issues, you know. There's a lot of issues connected to this person, like deep psychological issues. So keep that in mind, Cancer. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's kind of 
sick. To be honest, like someone who's kind of disturbed, if that makes sense. All right, let me look into your feelings a little bit more. Spirit, how does Cancer feel about this person? How does Cancer feel about this person? Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. You're definitely trying to move on from this person. Look at you. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Three of Wands, Five of Cups. You definitely have a lot of deep feelings for this person. This is someone who you were um, envisioning having a future with, with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, this is someone who you were willing to commit yourself to. Um, so you're definitely in pain with the Five of Cups, or you definitely have been experiencing pain and grief. But with the Three of Wands, I definitely feel like you've been trying really hard to see the silver lining and, you know, um, trust the universe and seek out new opportunities. I just don't feel like you've been successful. Mm. Yeah. This, even this energy feels like you. Nine of Pentacles to the Strength card. I feel like you've been definitely, you know, focusing on yourself, focusing on your career, your money, work, responsibilities. I feel like you've made a lot of improvements, improvements with the Strength card. Yeah, I feel like you've made a lot of improvements, especially in, in regards to your personal stability and your personal security. But I feel like you're still carrying this heavy weight that is connected to this person here. You're carrying a heavy weight there. It's kind of like this energy of you having a hard time letting go of, of what could have been, you know? of what could have been or of what could have happened between you and this person if only they would have, you know, been mature and acted correctly. Because it does feel like, you know, despite whatever, despite whoever this person is, despite whatever they're, they're like as a person, Like, despite their flaws, basically, despite their flaws, you still carry a lot of love for this person and even a lot of compassion. Strength card is a card of compassion. There's a part of you that feels bad for this person and that wants to help this person. But unfortunately, not everyone wants to be helped and that's not, that's not something you can control, you know? As much as you might wanna help them, they need to they they need to want to help themselves too they have to want to receive help as well but i feel like you're dealing with someone who's very in their ego who's very much in their ego and who's very stubborn okay but i do feel like you're carrying this energy of I wish I could help them. I wish they would allow me to help them, you know? But there's only so much you can do and if this person doesn't want to be helped, there's nothing you can do about it, you know? So yeah, I feel like you haven't completely let this go. I feel like you're kind of stuck. Your energy feels a little bit stuck, okay? All right, um, I'm going to continue now in the extended reading and I'm going to take a deeper look at this person, Cancer. I'm going to take a deeper look at what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions for you this week, with you this week? And what actions will they take towards you or what can you expect from this person by the end of the week? 
If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.